Here's a clip from our podcast, the Club Ambition Podcast, a.k.a. Cap. They gonna love me for my ambition. Jay Prince made a post, and he came at KM Ron and Mace after they were having a back and forth with Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson, the boxer, had the fight that everyone called boring, but he was sensitive about it, didn't like that, and he was gumming at people on Twitter. He kept tweeting about it. He went on rants, and at one point, he had a back and forth between Cameron and Mace on their show, It Is What It Is. Then Jay Prince said, Cam and Mace, I will take all his shots and take all his bets. I'm Shakur's manager, and I'll handle all his business business outside of the ring. Cameron and Mace went off. They said this. When you're dealing with older people... They're the last to know that things have changed. We not your little niggas. Like, the way you talk it, I don't, I don't get what you mean. We are not your little niggas. Like, for real, all that big homie stuff, that's for little niggas. Little niggas have big homies. We're not little niggas, so we don't even respect big homies. I May said it exactly. Like you 60, nigga. You 60. What are you talking about? What are you talking Bro. I lost mad respect for you because I used to have mad respect for you. When you had Shakur with you, when you learned, um, young boy, you be here. Yo. yo, Puff. Yo, niggas better <laughs> like he runs and tell niggas, yo, Puff. Oh, he's talking about the Kendrick before him. like he runs <laughs> to Kendrick <laughs> and didn't say anything to Kendrick Lamar about the Drake situation because anytime Drake has a Very valid point from them, right? Jay Prince, we've spoken about it on here before, where it's a sense of he's an OG, people get scared of him, and he has a legendary status of things he's done in the past, allegedly in the streets, a big figure. But he should let Shakur Stevenson, in my opinion, fight his own battles. He's a boxer. People didn't like his fight. He was he he's your boxer. It was boring. Tell him to be more entertaining. Or just let him do his own thing. You as I guess he's a he said he's a manager, right? Boxing manager. To come at Mace and Cameron, basically threaten them, right? He's like, I'm taking the, I'm taking the bets and fights. What does that mean? Are you gonna fight them? Is Jay Prince gonna put on? Is, is he gonna fight Cameron and Mace? Over an opinion, bro. Over an opinion that everyone felt online. Yeah, y'all got that nigga, up, bro. Ridiculous, right? And then people get scared to even talk about this shit because it's Jay Prince. We can't talk about Jay Prince. And for those who don't remember, Shakur Stevenson was the was there the night that um, Takeoff passed away. Remember? Yeah. Take off. Quavo. Shakur Stevenson was there randomly. People were like, what the fuck? Shakur Stevenson is here. Shakur Stevenson was there. So some people say he might have saw the shooter. He might have saw what happened. He witnessed the murder of Takeoff. So there's a lot of allegiance and ties when it comes to the street shit and Jay Prince. But Cameron and Mace, I think that they have their right to respond, especially after that post by Jay Prince. Um... Shakur is still is doing interviews, basically threatening them, like he wants to box, fight them, etc. Cameron and Mace are rappers that are now podcasters, show I guess broadcasters. Why they don't they're not boxers? Go fight a boxer, go go fight um Tank, and lose. That's what's probably gonna happen. Go fight Tank and lose because you want to fight Tank so bad. Do that and lose. It's not gonna happen, bro. And we watched didn't we, we watched the fight. Yeah, we watched it was the last boring. like two rounds. That shit was terrible. He could have knocked him out so many times, and then got pillow hands there, right? It was boring. It was boring. It was just a, that's just a fact, you know, but people got to fucking... People got to... Reality is reality. Jay Prince, you need a reality check, but then... Uh, allegedly, let me not... Bro, I don't want to have beef with these people, you know what I'm saying? You never know, bro. I'm, I'm scared of... Uh... They gonna love me for my ambition. And that was a clip from our podcast, the Club Ambition Podcast. Cap, if you're looking to watch the full episode, make sure to go check it out right now. It's available on audio and also on YouTube.